What's up friends, this is DJ Icon and this is going to be a how-to video for you video DJs out there on how to get the Twitter Quartz composition to work inside of Mix Emergency. Uh, a while back I did one of these videos and uh, recently Twitter changed their rules and regulations on supporting RSS feeds which caused that method to not work anymore. Uh, so for those of you that are having any type of problems, this video should clear all of that up. Uh, so you're going to need a few things in order for this to work. Uh, number one, you're going to need the Twitter and Quartz source files. Number two, you're going to need a website with hosting capability. And number three, you're going to need the Quartz composer from Apple's developer site. Uh, so first thing, let's open up Safari. And uh, you're going to go to DJ Funky T's site. I've got to shout out Funky T right now. Uh, he came up with this method. Um, or use some other guy's method and honed it to make his own. And uh, he put this up in the Mixed Emergency Forum uh, for guys to use for free. Uh, so you go to his website, uh, djfunkyt.com, copy this URL address right here, which I will put down in the description as well. Uh, the third one down here says, For Video DJs, Quartz Composer, Twitter, version 1.1, API fixed. Uh, so download that. Once you download that, it will give you a file that looks just like this, Twitter version 1.1 fix. Uh, so open this up, you'll have two folders inside here, QC stands for Quartz Composition, and then you'll also have the Twitter folder. So open up the Twitter folder, open up the Keys folder, and on Personal Keys, let's right click on this and open it in Text Edit. Uh, so we'll leave this here for right now, and let's go back to Safari. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is go to the Twitter developer site, which is dev.twitter.com. And uh, you'll need to sign in with your Twitter account here and then click on My Applications. Uh, yours will be blank, just ignore this right here that says Icon RSS 2. Uh, you're going to click on Create a New Application. And uh, for the name, we will call this Icon RSS Demo and uh, I'll duplicate it for the description. In these two fields, you guys can put anything that you would like to put, uh, it's irrelevant. Whatever you'd like to put in here is fine. Uh, for the website, I'm going to send them to my website. If anybody looks into this feed, uh, you can send them wherever you like. This field is relevant as well. Uh, for the callback URL, you can leave that blank. Uh, you're gonna have to click on Agree here for the terms and conditions and you'll need to complete this and create your Twitter application. Uh, then go down to the bottom and click on create my access token and uh, sometimes it takes a few seconds for this to come up. And there we go, there's our access token. Alright, so now pull back up the text edit file that we minimized right here and uh, on, on your file, all of these numbers here are going to be X's. So for consumer key, consumer secret, all of this are just going to be a bunch of X's. Well, if you look on what we just did here in the developer site, you can see consumer key, consumer secret, access token, and access token secret. So what you want to do is copy over all of these numbers into this personal keys PHP file. Uh, and then on my domain down here, you're going to type in the address of where the files are going to be hosted. Uh, my website is djicon.com. That's my address for the hosting as well. So I put that inside of there, go up to file, save, and then you can exit out of this. Uh, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have to find somewhere to host these files. Uh, those of you that already have a website of your own are ahead of the game here. Uh, I have my hosting for my website done through GoDaddy. Uh, I would highly suggest GoDaddy. I've, I've never had an issue with them. My site has always been up. Uh, I've never had anybody tell me it's gone down. Uh, I'm sure there are some services out there that will host things for you for free. However, if those sites go down, then this is not going to work. Uh, anymore. So my personal suggestion would be to go to GoDaddy or some other service that supplies hosting, just get something cheap 
and uh, what I have right here is my FTP file manager that you can access online uh, and the only thing that you have to do is uh, let's back out of this here and this entire Twitter folder that was inside of the download you need to upload all of its contents onto the root of the site so mine ended up being djicon.com slash twitter and then I get all of these files here alright uh, so the next thing you need to do is uh, go to the Apple developer site uh, if you have not registered for a Apple developer account uh, you can use the same login details that you use for the standard Apple site uh, however you have to register an actual developer account uh, so if you've not done that click on register here go through all of that and then you can sign in alright so once you sign in we will go up to this search and look for courts and what you want to download is this entire graphics tools for Xcode January 2013 uh, and if you look down in the package details, you can see Quartz Composer right here. That's really the only thing in here that you're after. Uh, so download that, install Quartz Composer, and uh, after you do that, we're going to go back into this QC folder. And then there's some options inside of here. Yours won't say icon. Those are files that I've already edited. And uh, we're going to double click on one of these templates and this is what it looks like this is inside of the Quartz Composer uh, so you have the actual editor here and then back here is uh, just a viewer that will give you exactly what the final output is of this composer so when you download everything it has all the funky T's details in here and I'm going to show you how to put yours in here uh, so the first thing you want to do is go back to the editor and double click on this first patch here go all the way over here to the left where it says www address and you're going to need to input the address of where your feed is located on the server that you just uploaded to uh, so mine is take his name out I told you that mine was djicon.com and then you would just link it to where the Twitter folder is and then the RSS feed that you edited inside of that Twitter folder so we click back here and you'll see now on the viewer that it swapped to my RSS feed instead of Funky T's where there's still an issue here it says DJ Funky T's name and not mine so we'll go back over here to the editor double click on this window here scroll down and he has a yellow box around here that says replace his name with your Twitter handle so in order to do that click on this string go up here and you type in your name or whatever you want and now in the viewer says at DJ icon down here uh, now in my final version I changed a few things within this editor uh, I changed this font to white and then I also put in a different logo down here instead of the bird uh, and I changed the opacity on this box here to be a little bit darker uh, I just found for 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 my um, for, for, for what I wanted to see that that worked out better for me uh, the last thing you want to change here is the parameters of what you're going to show inside the Quartz Composer. Uh, so go back into the editor, click on Root, root Micro Patch, which is up here in the top left. You click one time on this box here and look over here to the right. Uh, this will give you parameters that you're going to view. Uh, so the 10 here means that the post is going to refresh itself every 10 seconds the RSS feed is going to refresh itself every 90 seconds and then you're going to view the tweets within the past 24 hours um, now I usually keep mine at about five or six hours or what, what, whatever the gig is usually five hours will cover whatever you're looking at and the only thing that's going to come up 
in this feed is anything that is at your name. So whatever you put in there on the feed is what whatever's going to come up. So if I just type something, if I just tweet something and send it out there, if I do not put at DJ Icon, it is not going to come up in the feed. So be mindful of that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, is save this file and exit out of Quartz Composer. And we're going to bring up Mixed Emergency now. And then here is the Quartz Composer folder. And then what we want to do is click on this that we just edited, bring it over here and drop it in Quartz Composer and turn it on. And this is the output window or output preview window in Mix Emergency and you can see that this is working. And as long as you have an internet connection, this is going to work. Uh, so I guess that's really it guys. I wanna keep this video kinda short. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, uh, maybe there's something I didn't explain uh, well enough. If, if, if you have anything you need to know whatsoever, uh, shoot me a message here. Catch up with me on one of my social networks. Uh, all of those are down in the description. And uh, I will respond to you as fast as I can. I uh, hope this has been informative. Hope it helped you guys out. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks.